Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these two identical circles with the radius 4 that are tangent to each other as you can see in this uh, diagram such that B and uh, D are their centers and moreover A, P and uh, Q, E are the tangents uh, to these uh, circles. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this problem, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, AEF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base times the height. And we know the base of this uh, triangle is uh, 16 units. So therefore, we must uh, calculate the height of uh, this uh, blue triangle now. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center D with this uh, point of tangency P, as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And in our case, uh, this uh, PD is the radius of the circle and AP is the tangent line. So no wonder this angle uh, APD is going to be 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, APD. And we know that this is a right uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg AD as our side uh, C. I'm going to call uh, this side A and this side uh, B. And now we can see that this uh, hypotenuse uh, AD is going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals to 12 units. And moreover, we can see that this uh, PD is the radius of this circle and we know the radius is 4. So therefore, this radius has got to be 4 units. And now we are going to calculate this side uh, A. So go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. We are going to find the value of A. So this is going to be A square plus B in our case is 4 whole square equal to c in our case is 12 and then a whole square let's go ahead and simplify a square plus 16 equals to 144 let's subtract 16 from both sides this is gone so our a square value turns out to be 128 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and here we can see this square root and square they undo each other so a turns out to be equal to and now on the right hand side let's focus on the square root of 128 i have just copied it down over here and if we break it down and simplify this uh, square root of 128 uh, is equal to a times uh, square root of 2 so therefore a value turns out to be 8 times the square root of 2 and now since uh, this uh, a equals to this uh, length uh, a p so therefore a p equals to 8 times the square root of 2 so therefore our a p length turns out to be 8 times square root of 2 and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, two points uh, f and uh, C as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now let's recall the circle theorem once again according to this uh, theorem the angle between the radius and the tangent uh, will always be 90 degrees and now in our case uh, this line uh, FC is a tangent line to both of uh, these uh, circles and moreover this uh, CD and uh, BC are the radii so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well and now we can see that this line fc is perpendicular to this line ae now let me go ahead and label this line fc with the 
height uh, lowercase h and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles so in other words the sum of these uh, two angles must be equal to 90 degrees and now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, triangle ACF let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be angle uh, beta and now let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle uh, APD and we know that this angle is alpha this is our uh, 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be beta since alpha and beta are our complementary angles so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle ACF is uh, similar to this uh, triangle APD according to angle angle similarity theorem and now we can see that this uh, length uh, AC is going to be 4 plus 4 equals to 8 units so therefore we are going to have a proportion so let's focus on this uh, ratio the side opposite to angle uh, alpha is uh, h and the side that opposite to angle beta is uh, 8 so therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, h divided by 8 equals to and now let's focus on the big triangle APD the side that is opposite to angle alpha is this uh, 4 which is the radius and the side that is opposite to this uh, angle beta is going to be 8 times square root of 2 so therefore we are going to have a ratio of 4 divided by 8 times the square root of 2 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 8 to isolate h and now we can see this 8 and 8 is gone and here 8 and 8 is gone so our h height turns out to be 4 divided by square root of 2 so thus we can see the height of this blue triangle aef turns out to be 4 divided by square root of 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, AEF now and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times uh, base times height in our case our base is 16 and our height is 4 divided by square root of 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be a half times our base is 16 times height is 4 divided by square root of 2 and if we simplify the right hand side our area is going to be 32 divided by square root of 2 and now let's go ahead and rationalize this uh, denominator so I'm going to multiply by square root of 2 and divide at the same time by square root of 2 as well so therefore on the numerator we are going to have 32 times square root of 2 and at the denominator these two when we multiply them that simply is going to give us 2 so if we simplify the right hand side our area of this blue shaded triangle turns out to be 16 times square root of 2 square units and here's the area of this uh, blue triangle and this is approximately equal to 22.63 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye